Welcome to the top six weirdest Pokemon that I have found on my many journeys. But everyone has their own picks for what makes the weirdest Pokemon, and with 720 of them currently out, I'm sure you have your own. So along with my top six, we've also brought in Trailer Drake to tell us his top six. So the rules for this list are simple, one per generation, and we need to read the Pokedex entry that really makes it weird. Also, we're allowed to use whichever the weirdest of the entries is, so we may say an entry that doesn't match up with the generation. Now, let us know in the comments down below which of our lists was better. Was it mine, or was it Drake's? And let us know what your weirdest Pokemon was. Who's that Pokemon? Generation 1! Our pick is Lickitung, because of its Pokedex entry from Black and White 2. Being licked by its tongue leaves a tingling sensation. Extending its tongue retracts its tail. So this one is weird simply because not only does it apparently have some drug-based properties, but its tail is actually attached to its tongue. I've chosen Kadabra based on its Fire Red Pokedex entry. It happened one morning. A boy with extra sensory powers awoke in bed, transformed into a Kadabra. That should be enough to make you find this weird. Is it actually a human change into a Pokemon, or is it just another far-fetched Pokedex entry? Regardless, nobody is asking the serious question here. Why are Kadabras so obsessed with their spoons? Generation 2. For this generation, I've chosen Shuckle, the mold Pokemon. From its Emerald Pokedex entry, a Shuckle hides underneath the rocks, keeping its body concealed within its shell while eating stored berries. The berries then mix with its body fluids to become a juice. This one is just weird for me. It's mold-based and it makes its own juices for it to enjoy. Ugh. Giraffe Rig is my second pick. I mean, come on. This thing literally has a head on its butt. The Pokedex entry from Sapphire claims that Giraffe Rig's rear end contains a tiny brain that is too small for thinking. However, that rear end head doesn't need to sleep, so it can keep watch over its surroundings 24 hours a day. This is the ultimate guard dog. Er, Giraffe. Who's that Pokemon? Generation 3. Okay, this time I picked out Snow Runt, the Snow Hat Pokemon. All of the Pokedex entries for this one basically read that he makes snow and brings prosperity to those near him. But since I have to read just one, Heart Gold reads it as, If they are seen at midnight, they'll cause heavy snow, and they eat snow and ice to survive. This time I've chosen the patient Pokemon, Wobbuffet. In Sapphire it reads that Wobbuffet does nothing but endure attacks, and it won't attack on its own. However, it's super protective of its tail. Are the rumors true? Is Wobbuffet's tail really its actual body and its normal body just a decoy? I guess we'll never know. Who's that Pokemon? Generation 4. Okay, this time I picked the Bagworm Pokemon, Burmy. This Pokemon will do anything to remain in its fragile cocoon, but Platinum has the best Pokedex entry. Even if it's born where there are no cocooning materials, it somehow ends up in its cloak. Carnivine is absolutely terrifying. As if the giant hovering Venus flytrap wasn't scary enough, its Pokemon X Pokedex entry reads that it attracts its prey with sweet smelling saliva and then chomps down. It takes a whole day to eat its prey. Not only is this frightening, but it's also just so weird. Who's that Pokemon? Generation 5 Vanilla Ux. I think that's how you say it. Okay, this is the last evolution of the ice cream cone Pokemon. The original black entry reads, Swallowing large amounts of water, they can make snow clouds inside their body and attack their foes with violent blizzards. Linked to a UFO crash 50 years ago, Elgum is speculated to be an alien. Creepy psychic powers with a backstory that's out of this world? Yeah, this guy definitely takes the cake for my weird Generation 5 pick. Last generation, generation six. Okay, for this one, I picked up Dual Blade, since it makes me kind of think of the God of War weapons. It's the X Pokedex entry that reads, when Han Edge evolves, it divides into two swords, which cooperate via telepathy to coordinate their attacks and slash their opponents to ribbons. While Esper might seem cute, its Alpha Sapphire Pokedex entry reads that it has enough psychic energy to blast everything within 300 feet of itself with zero control over its power. Not to mention that Thousand Yard Stare just gives me a case of the Ghiblis. Ugh. And those are our picks for the weirdest Pokemon for each generation. Thank you for joining us today, Trailer Jake. I'm Benny for Eligible Monster, and let us know in the comments down below who had the weirder Pokemon picks, me or Drake. Also, let us know what your weirdest Pokemon are. Random generic statement about how you should like, subscribe, and favorite this video. 
We'll see you guys next time right here at Eligible Monster.